This is a Rides and Drives deep dive into the 2021 Lexus LC500 convertible. The LC500 convertible is a luxury performance convertible that competes with the Mercedes AMG, BMW 8 Series, Jaguar F-Type SVR, and a number of other vehicles. It has a lot of the same design cues as the coupe, the signature spindle grille, LED projector headlamps, low hood height, and afterburner tail lamps. The big change is a flat rear deck to accommodate the soft top. That top can be lowered in about 15 seconds, raised in about 16, and is operable at speeds of up to 31 miles per hour. What could be better than driving a luxury convertible on the 4th of July? This, my friends, is freedom. Uh, what you will find in the LC500 convertible is the same 471 horsepower, 5 liter V8, makes 398 pound feet of torque, so uh, it's a fun engine, it sounds great. Let's let you hear a little bit of it. It's not the quickest car on the market. It's zero to 60 in about 4.4 seconds. This 10 speed automatic, the shifts are lightning quick and the logic uh, that they bake into it works perfectly. So when you're in normal mode like this, it lopes along, but you go to sport mode and it obviously tightens it up a bit and you go to sport plus and there's a little more. And if you really want to, you can put it in manual mode shift it yourself. Uh, they had to do a lot of things to the chassis to make up for the fact that they cut the roof off this car. So you've got uh, all aluminum new rear brace. They did some redesigning on the front suspension. They moved some of the other chassis bracing around. And the result is a very stable chassis for a convertible. There are no squeaks and rattles. This is just a solid, solid car. The ad adaptive suspension works really well when you're in comfort mode, it feels like an LS. And when you put it in sport mode and sport plus mode, it tightens up and you feel like you could drive this on a track like Laguna Seca or Road America. So it really does a nice job of striking that balance that if you're gonna spend this much money for a car, it's a car you can drive every day, commute to work in it, you know, you'll get 25 miles to a gallon if you set it in eco mode, and it won't be crazy loud. But then head out on the weekend, find your favorite winding road like this one, click up into sport plus mode, and then stamp the throttle. Another thing I like about this car is the Mark Levinson audio. Um, you can crank this up, um, you know, with the top down, you need it a little louder. And, and you can crank it up and the kinks are clear as day. So one of the big issues I have is the trackpad. And there are some decisions they made here specifically on this car that are frustrating. Um, let's say for the sake of argument today, it's gonna to be 92 degrees and I would really like to turn the ventilated seats on. And so what I have to do first is go ahead and hit menu. Then it brings up the lower menu you see here. And I go to climate. And then I have to go up here and find, no, I didn't do that. There we go. Now I have to go across to seat and steering here. And all the time I'm taking my eyes off the road while I'm doing this. And then I have to go over here and go uh, like this and turn it up. 
a lot of cars, your seat heater and cooling button are right here that you can just do. And I would much prefer that to, to having to dig through this menu. You know, there, are, there isn't a lot wrong with this car, but this is one of those things. And it's frustrating because everything else about this car is so good. So that's the 2021 Lexus LC500 convertible. For more information, check out ridesanddrives.com and make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. For ridesanddrives.com, I'm Harvey Briggs, and I'll see you somewhere down the road.